So you've just got yourself a new M4 iPad Pro. And of course, you already knew that it did not have a physical headphone jack socket on it. But the problem is, is that whilst you're okay with Bluetooth headphones, your favorite headphones may be wired headphones like mine are, in which case you wanna know how to connect them to your iPad. Well, as we can see here, this is what I'm going to show you in this video. So let me show you in this video how to connect wired headphones to your M4 iPad Pro. So what I've got here then is the official Apple USB-C to headphone jack adapter. One end of the adapter has got a USB-C connection on it and the other end of the adapter has got the headphone jack socket on it. So we simply connect the headphone cable to the headphone socket end of the adapter and then we connect the USB-C end of the adapter cable into the USB-C Thunderbolt port on the iPad Pro. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to pull down my microphone so it's in the shot somewhere here. And the reason why is so that I can pick up the sound from the iPad once I start playing this video. Then what I will do, I will connect the cable from the headphones to the headphone cable adapter here and then I will plug that into the USB-C Thunderbolt port on the iPad and what you will notice is that automatically the audio will switch over onto the headphones in there and the light and just a quick run now around the edges of the iPad here and hopefully I've got some meaningful focus on the go now for my particular use of iPads I use them in landscape Edge. Now that being the case, what we've got here are the up and down buttons for the volume. What we've got there is the charging strip or the wireless charging strip. Okay, so there we go then, how to connect wired headphones to your M4 iPad Pro. Now just a couple of quick questions I'm gonna answer here because I've had these questions before in the past on similar videos. Is the output using this adapter loud? Yes, it is going to be as loud as what the iPad will allow the headphone level to be. What will happen at some point, you might get a message that might pop up explaining that it's gonna to go too loud or something. However, the loudness that you get through that cable is going to be the same as whatever it would have been if there had have been a physical headphone socket built into the iPad. Now, another question that I get asked is, what is the audio quality like? Well, I'm not entirely sure what DAC is used with inside the adapter here. However, it is really good no matter what it is. The audio quality that I get on especially good headphones sounds really, really good. So you're going to get your full frequency response and also your full dynamic range. There's basically nothing missing once again if you compared it to a good, like, you know, traditional built-in headphone socket. Now, the last thing to mention here is that although this cable is called the USB-C to headphone adapter cable. It is also compatible as a microphone input as well. So as a, for instance, if you have got a pair of headphones with a built-in microphone, and then that headphone obviously has a TRRS jack plug on the end, that will go in and then also send your microphone to the input of the actual iPad as well as you listen to the stereo audio. Or indeed, if you've got a TRRS microphone, you can plug it straight into that cable as well. So it will act as either a microphone input for headphones that have got the built-in mic or a standalone microphone, which is TRRS. Anyways, that will do it for this video. And as ever, there will be Amazon links in the video description below for all the stuff that I've used within the video. If you found the video useful in any way, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked the video, then a sub to the channel will be absolutely awesome. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.